So this slide explains how to calculate the lattice energy of magnesium chloride. So before actually proceeding to the calculation, let's see what is lattice energy is. Lattice energy is energy released when one mole of an ionic substance is formed from its ions in the gas state, as the equation shows. So in order to calculate the lattice energy, we need to have various energies. When one of them is the heat of formation which is the energy released when one mole of a crystalline substance is formed from its elements in their standard state. So if for the calculation of lattice energy, the first step we do is we reverse the heat of formation. And this is the way all the addition look comes correct. So reverse the heat of formation. Therefore, the sign becomes positive. Then we convert magnesium solid to magnesium gas. So now this magnesium gas has to be converted into its ionic form. That means I need to remove one electron, uh, one by one, uh, elect one electron and then one more electron from magnesium. That's the ionization energy. So after getting Mg plus, I'm removing one more electron from that to get Mg2 plus, which gives me the second ionization energy. <coughs> As shown there. So now after getting, after I'm done with magnesium, I'll take care of the Cl. You know that the Cl exists as Cl2. Cl2 means there is one bond between Cl and Cl. I need to break the bond. So that's the next step. Let's break the bond. And the energy shown over there is for one atom of Cl. So if you search the literature value, it will be twice of that. So now I have broken the Cl bond. I have Cl gas. I have to convert it into ionic bond. Therefore, I add an electron to it to get Cl minus. And then I have the equation as written. So I need to cancel the number of electrons. I need to cancel Cl gas. I need to cancel half of the chlorines also. So in order to do that, I have to multiply equation 5 by 2 and equation 6 also by 2. So when I do that, I get equations in which all these electrons... So when it gets cancelled, you could see that the equations uh, 5 and 6 are multiplied by 2 and add up all of them and uh, all the things were shown in the correct colors, they get cancelled and I get an equation which if you compare with the lattice energy equation, it's the reverse of the lattice energy equation. Say 4, what is it you have to do? Just reverse equation 7 and I get the lattice energy as negative 2510 kilojoules per mole. Sometimes if you check with the literature, this may not be the exact value, but this will be very close to the exact value because as long as you are concerned, just see that the, your steps are correct. Whenever a calculation you do it in the exam or whenever it is, all these values will be given to you. So your aim is to write the correct equation so that you get the correct final lattice energy equation. So you need the heat of formation, Heat required to convert solid magnesium to solid gas, uh, magnesium gas, and uh, ionization energies of magnesium, and the uh, bond energy of chlorine, and the electron affinity of chlor uh, chlorine. So putting them together and uh, multiplying the equation so that whatever we don't want gets cancelled will give you the correct lattice energy equation.